How you doing guys? Richard E from Yes I Can and on this episode we're going to talk about how much does it cost to restore your roof. Let's get going. Alright guys, for those of you who saw my previous video, again, I would like to apologize. That was a video that was heartfelt, that came from my heart. Um, it really upsets me. If you, please, if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it. Um, and the title of that video would be, um, Can You Restore a Roof for Under $2,000? Guys, behind me here, I've got a breakdown of what it costs me to restore a roof. I'm putting myself out there. I'm putting myself out there for the pure fact, so people could stop getting ripped off. These dodgy, dodgy contractors, and again, my offer still goes out to these dodgy contractors. If you think I'm wrong and you're right, I'll put my hands up. Contact me, please PM me. Let's do a video together. Explain to me how you can get to the $1,299 and all of our viewers, and I'll be more than happy to apologize. But until that point happens, and you're gonna see behind me, it's impossible. Let's have a look. Guys, pressure cleaning. When we first start a roof restoration, you pressure clean. Because pressure cleaning allows you to see if there's any defects, any problems, makes everything clearer. When you're pressure cleaning, you need two guys. It's unsafe for one person to be up there by himself, so you need two people out there. And most of the time, you've got a very long, heavy hose, you've got a, a petrol um, you know, pressure cleaner at the bottom. It costs money in fuel, so you're spending, you know, 15, 20, 25 dollars, depending on how efficient your pressure cleaner is. You've got the wear and tear and maintenance and service on it, which I don't have to tell you about. And it's going to take you between five and six hours to pressure clean a roof correctly. And a lot of people are like, five to six hours, of course. You might be able to get the pressure cleaning done in two to three hours, maybe three and a half hours. But then all that rubbish goes into your gutters, so then you have to go around cleaning all the gutters, all the fascia, all the eaves to make sure the customer's happy because you haven't left rubbish everywhere. Then you've got to go all around the property and make sure the property, all the rubbish isn't falling on the floor. Make sure that's all clean for the customer. And once you're past the five, six hour mark, you might as well charge for the day because at the end of the day, no contract is going to charge per hour. So as a bare minimum, you're five to six hundred dollars. I don't know if you've got seen my other videos, please, if you haven't watched them. It explains to you how much a trader should be charging and a decent company will not charge you under six hundred dollars. And I've allowed only five to six hundred for two people for the day. So this actual pressure cleaning here, for me to make any money whatsoever on it, I have to charge the customer seven, eight hundred dollars, which we'll get to at the end. But this is absolute bare minimum cost because pressure cleaning, you can get a you know a, a relatively cheap pressure cleaning company. So five to six hundred dollars. Replace tiles, guys, as I mentioned in the last video. It could be as simple as a couple of dollars and around the corner, you know, you go to one of the roofing suppliers as clo as close to the property, you buy them. Easy, a couple of bucks and you're done. So as, as cheap as $100 including travel. But you got a lot of, of tiles and as I mentioned in the last video, like the Monier Boleros. That specific roof tile, the last time I had to, you know, restore a roof, it cost me nearly six, I charged a customer $650 I think it was. I had to personally drive to um, uh, Newcastle to pick up the tiles and I paid $7 a tile. And I think I bought like 30 of them at that, at that time. So your, your, your tiles can be anywhere from $100 plus. You know, 100, 500, 600, 700, who knows how many tiles are broken. And this is what really upsets me. You know, people are saying, restore a roof. And they don't put, the, the, the thing that baffles me is they don't put from 1,299. They put, they put restore your roof, 1,299. Guys. Cost of paint, this is a big one. This is what I was saying about in the last video. Guys, it costs me more in paint than these guys are advertising the entire project for. How is that possible? And let's, go through, and let's go through this in details. I've allowed $1,300 to $1,600, okay? This is based on a standard size roof, which requires roughly four drums, 20 liter drums of paint, okay? In most cases, most of the, my experience, most of the roofs require at least five drums. Okay, because you don't want to cheap out that last little section because you ran out of paint. So you'd rather buy the fifth drum 
use a fraction of it instead of having a roof that looks horrible and the customers don't want to be happy. All right. So if a drum of paint costs me roughly, and let's talk Apco. We like Apco as a company. We give the customer to, uh, options to use Dulux, British Paints, Solar Guard, Waddle. We can use any of the brands. Let's take the cheapest roof paint made in Australia that's good quality, and that is Apco. Right? Apco gives you uh, things like a 15-year warranty on the roof paint. For and we're talking about the the concrete tiles here. As a bare minimum, they're 220 to 250 dollars for 20 liters. So if I need four, that's a thousand dollars. If I need five, that's 1,250 dollars. Then I've got thinners and all the other stuff to clean the materials. You might need a couple of paintbrushes, you know, to get into tight spaces. You got 1,300 to 1,600. These guys are advertising full roof restorations for 1,299. Where my paint cost me 1,300 dollars with nothing. If I just buy the paint and look at them. That's $1,300 out of my pocket. Guys, then you've got the labor for the painter. If you send any half decent painter out there, that, you know, that's gonna take the, the, the proper sprayer, the Wagner, the large Wagner sprayers, he takes them out with him, he's gonna go out there, you gotta allow for twice. Sometimes you can get away with doing it in a day in summer. In some situations you have to go out there three days, depending on the weather. So, at least $600 to $800, you need two guys out there. So these are absolute bare minimum costs. This is in an ideal situation in the middle of summer with a, a fantastic roof in the middle of, you know, in the, in the easiest to reach places with all the materials around it. It's $2,800. That's ideal, perfect situation. And if I was to charge you that much and send out my boys to do this, I make zero, absolutely nothing on this. Contractors, actually, you know, I don't want to be a liar, I'll probably make $400 on it. But the tax man will take most of that. Insurance, public liability. Watch my video, guys. Why do contractors charge so much money? Your average roof restoration is three and a half thousand dollars. Between three and four thousand dollars, what they expect to pay for a decent roof restoration that's going to last you ten years. Because ultimately, if you don't restore the roof correctly, there's no, all you're doing is throwing paint on top of a roof. What I think is going on. And guys, forgive me for saying this. This is just speculation, so I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how they're doing this. What I think they're doing is buying two, two tubs of paint, mixing it up with some thinners, and extending as, many, as much paint as possible on the roof. I could be wrong. But if it cost me $1,300 in paint, and these guys are charging for the entire project, $1,299, somebody please, somebody comment down there how it's even possible. Please, someone tell me if I'm losing my mind or not. The amount of times that I get a request to do a roof restoration, and I've got to explain this to every customer on the phone. Because you've got signs on the road, you've got uh, advertising on social media. None of these guys will advertise on TV. None of these will adver advertise in reputable places. None of, these, none of these guys that are you know, advertising at $1,200 will have good reviews or allow the customers to put reviews about them. I guarantee you most of them don't have insurance because if they had insurance, right, they know how much it costs. They know. It costs them too much. Most of these people don't have public liability. Most of these people don't... Check them. Guys, to sum up, a bare, bare, absolute, perfect scenario, fantastic condition, in the best possible way, $2,800 to renovate your roof. Think about that, the, the, the price difference is, it's more than double. It's absolutely more than double, guys. And believe me, like I said this on all my videos, if I could bring it down to $1,200 and still make a, you know, a decent margin on it, or even a margin on it, don't you think that I'll, I'll, you know, instead of losing half of the customers that, that can't afford or don't want to do it at that price, wouldn't, wouldn't it be better for me to, you know, to give them the smaller package? Guys, at the end of the day, if you've been following these videos, please check your contractors, check their licenses, check the insurance, check the reviews, and ask questions. I'm doing these videos just to help people not get ripped off. The amount of times I've had to go on a roof that looks almost new, that has that much structural damage, is not funny. Guys, if you have any recommendations for future videos, please leave them in the comments down below, or you can email us, info at yesicancomau 
please visit our website www.yesicancom.au contact us 1-800-300-937 that's 1-800-300-YES don't forget guys at Yes I Can if we can't do it no one can and our most important motto for Yes I Can is it's a, you're a customer for life if we don't do right by you we have no business so we treat you and we want you to be our customer for life and until next time guys thank you very much have a nice day.